Hello and welcome to this uh, Dr. Flow video. In this video, I would like to illustrate a new concept, which is a connection reference, uh, which is a feature that Microsoft shipped a few days ago in preview. And also, I would like to show something uh, that complement connection reference. So first, let me explain what connection reference is. So in Power Automate and Power Apps, we use the concept of connection to connect to a connector. The problem with this is that when we deploy a solution from one environment to the other, we have to go through every flow or every uh, Power Apps application. And for every action, we need to change the, the connection. And this is very time consuming, of course. So the good news is Microsoft ship a new concept, uh, which is an abstraction layer between the action and the connector. That's basically what the connection reference is all about. Let's illustrate that. And let's see if you want to learn about connection reference, I recommend you to take a look at this uh, blog post from the Power Automate team here. And they explain that if you have the following flows, my flow one and my flow two, with the following uh, component, so trigger action one, action two, trigger action one, action two, and of course each trigger and action here are connected to an action to a connection. Okay, connection A and B. And if you want to deploy that to another environment, you will have to um, change six link, link here, link here, link here here, here, and here, right? So that's a lot of work. And the reason, one of the reasons is behind the connection, there is a credential, so there is a secret, okay? So you cannot move that around. And that's why we have an abstraction layer between the connection and the component, the action of the trigger. And that's here. So for instance, here with connection reference, your trigger and action point to uh, a connection reference. So here we have two connection reference, one A, one B, same for flow two. And they're connected to the connection, connection A, connection B. So when you deploy that to another place, another environment, another tenant, you just need to recreate a new connection reference and connect the connection reference to the connection. And the system will know that actually this will have to connect to the connection reference one A and action one and two will have to be connected to connection reference one B. That's going to be automatic. Okay, so that's much faster than before. Okay, so read this blog post. And now let's create something from scratch. Here I have a dev site per platform ELM dev with the following SharePoint list. And now I'm, go I'm going to create a new solution. Let's call that my application. Let's keep it simple. And in my application, I'm going to create two flows, two simple flow, two flow that connect to a different SharePoint, a SharePoint list. Get item. Let's go to my SharePoint site, this one. This action will connect to list one. And the second action will connect, let's copy and paste that, to list two. So I'm gonna select list two here. Let's call that flow one. And save uh, 
Um, so as you can see here, the system, well, the action is connected to a connection reference. Okay, so there is an existing connection reference that I created before, which is shared across, in this case, my two action, my two action. And this connection reference use this account. I can create a second flow in the same solution that will use the same connection reference. And you can share the connection reference across several solutions if you want. So in the same solution, in this case, I will create flow 2. that connect to a SharePoint list and grab the items. Okay, so list three. And uh, here, as you can see, I'm using the same connection reference. I can create an additional connection reference that can be used for the flow, for the solution, or across solution. So let's name this flow, flow, flow two. Okay. And now, in the solution, you can display the list of existing connection reference. So just go here, and you can see connection reference. Here. So there's no connection reference specifically defined for this uh, solution it has been defined in another place. I can add existing connection reference if if needed. So this one is the ELM connection reference that is already that has been predefined before. I can add it into the same solution that will make the deployment easier. Okay. And now if I deploy my package, my solution here, let's keep and manage, but this also work with manage, manage solutions. So let's export this solution. And now we'll go to, um, to a uh, production environment where I will import the exported package and if I click next here the system will ask to uh, define a connection reference so this thing here, connection reference, will be recreated and linked to this account, right? So let's click this. And now I, have a new I will have a new connection reference for all my flows in these solutions. Okay. So when I click the solution, if I go to flow one, normally you will see that the uh, connection used by uh, the flow here is actually the ELM connection reference, right? For both flow. So the connection has been created. So you don't have to go action by action and redefine the connection as we had 
to do in the past with the direct connection. So that's the concept of shared connection. Uh, we have the same concept in other in other tools like uh, SSIS, for instance. So if I go to Flow2, normally you will see well Flow yeah Flow2 you will see that the connection reference has been used for this flow as well. When I imported the package, so here yes connection reference, but linked to this account right the account of this new tenant. Now, I have another problem, which is in this flow, this flow I still link to the old SharePoint site. So connection reference is good. We need it. It helps, but that's not enough. We need more than that. So if you want to understand how we can fix this without having to go action by action, because, for instance, when I create a big application like the BPM toolkit, I have something like 50 flow. And in 50 flow, I have many, many actions. So I, I don't want to waste one day just for updating the connection and updating the, the URL and the list GUID. So you will see in my next video, oh, I fixed this.